There's a new service available called GGLOT that will convert any audio or video file into foreign subtitles or plain text for 60 different target languages. This means if you post a video to YouTube in English, you can quickly generate, say, Spanish, German, or French subtitles for it. It's super fast, cheap, and quite accurate. It's an automated machine translation, so it's not perfect compared to a human translation, but human translation costs start at $15 for five minutes, compared to one or $2 for five minutes at GGLOT. Great value if you want to translate bulk videos into many languages. Having foreign subtitles will open up a whole new target market for your videos. Yes, the translation won't be perfect, but it will be good enough to allow your target language audience to understand what's happening in the video. That could lead to new views, more subs, and a more successful channel. Let's head over to gglot.com and run through the platform. You've got an option to log in or try gglot free. I won't bore you with how to create a free account, so let's jump straight into the platform itself. Over inside the platform, we can see here is the dashboard. And upon signing up, you get free credit of $1 to play around with the service on a short video. Here is a transcription section where you create your scripts ready to be translated. Here is a translation section, the payment portal, and then the plans. You can see there are three plans. One is free, then you have a business plan, and then a pro plan. As you progress through the plans, basically it means that your transcription per minute cost and translation per word cost comes down and you can upload bigger and longer videos. I would recommend people to start with the free plan to try out the service and if you're getting some great traction with the translated subtitles in your videos, consider upgrading your plan if you are doing bulk content. There is a referral program when you can get $5 if you refer people to the service. There's also a free audio converter service where you can upload pretty much any audio file and get it converted to the most popular file types. Lastly, there's a special service for medical transcription, but we're not gonna go into that today. Let's go ahead and create our first translation. The first step is to start with a transcription, so let's click that. Then you'll need to import a video or copy and paste the YouTube link. I'd like to see GGLOT support more video platforms in the future, but for now, YouTube is great. So we'll paste in our target video from YouTube. Then simply select a source language. Let's go with English Australian and hope that it picks up on some slang and my accent. Choose the number of speakers. It's just me speaking in this one, so I'll select one. If you have multiple speakers, it will break them up to show the different speakers in the transcription. Then select upload. It will quickly process and then prompt you to get the transcription. And you can see the price for this one will be 45 cents. Then just go ahead and click get transcription. It says it will take up to five minutes, but this is a short video, so it shouldn't take that long. In fact, as soon as I clicked the blue button, it was already finished. Okay, let's open it now. And just looking over it real quickly, I can see that there's some mistakes, but that it's about roughly 90% accurate. I'm expecting that if I leave these mistakes in here, it will completely throw out some of the paragraphs in the translation. So I'm gonna go through and edit the mistakes to make the transcription accurate because I want the translation to have the best source material. Again, I remind you that to be able to do a translation, you'll need to first get the video transcribed on this platform. As this video is still quite fresh in my mind, I can go through and edit by memory. But in areas where I can't remember what I said, I can just click the play button to hear what it is that I was saying, just like this. Last channel growth to 1000 subs. A quick history of my channel. So I like this feature of the editor. Let's just speed this right up and whip through this edit. It probably took me between 10 and 15 minutes to do. Unfortunately, as of today with this service, if you've already had the English transcription or subtitles edited on another platform, you won't be able to import it into here. This is an area I hope GGLOT update in the future. As a result, that means that we're stuck with having to use their built-in transcription service and forced to pay for that. One problem I had at the end here was the whole sentence was wrong. And after I corrected it, the timing of the play bar wouldn't recognize that this last sentence was the last 10 seconds of the video. 
In the end though, I did find that the video played out with the subtitles in the right spot after all. As this service is quite young still, I think it's a good idea to send feedback on your transcription to help them further improve. I found it struggled with some nouns and my Aussie accent at times, but I gave them four stars overall. Let's move on to the translation itself. I'm going to do a test from English to Spanish. I'm going to give feedback on this automatic machine translation from two unique perspectives. Number one, I actually read and speak intermediate Spanish. So I'll be able to give a broad brush assessment as to how good the translation is. And second, my girlfriend is from Colombia, so I'll get feedback from a native Spanish speaker who speaks English, plus her family who speaks no English. So the first thing you need to do is select your target language, which in this case will go with Spanish Colombia, then choose subtitle. You've also got the option of the document only, but we'll go with subtitle because we want to go into a YouTube video. You can see here the overall duration, how many words it is, the translation rate per word, and the total translation price. You can see the balance isn't going to be enough. Okay, I've just replenished my balance and now I can go ahead and press translate. Well, that was quick. Let's go ahead and open that. My first impression is that the translation is actually very good. There's a few places here where in the original version, there's a space in between the letters of a word which confuses the translation. That seems strange to me because those spaces weren't in my originally edited transcription. So as I read through the Spanish, I can see it's 95 to 100% accurate in the areas where there isn't those unusual spaces. I say 95 to 100% accurate because the text makes perfect grammatical sense to me. However, it probably isn't in colloquial Spanish. But as I mentioned earlier, it doesn't need to be in a dialect. It can be in plain and simple Spanish. As I worked through the editing of this, I found myself looking at the errors in the original transcription more so than the Spanish because the spaces are there and they prompted me to go over and correct the according Spanish. So I feel that as someone that doesn't understand Spanish, you would need to recognize that spaces in these words can cause problems. You could do a band-aid solution by copy pasting into Google Translate for that particular sentence that has an error in it. Overall, as someone that doesn't understand the target language, you should be able to produce, say, a pretty good translation with not too many errors or sentences that don't make sense. Unfortunately, it seems like you can't go in and delete the spaces to tell the translation that it's one word, not two incomplete words. And I'd imagine that Gglot will fix this error in the future, as this is an error that would be an easy win for them to fix, resulting in increased satisfaction of the service. Guys, while we're here, if you're getting some value out of this video, then please give me a like below and consider subscribing for more value-packed videos just like this. Once you're done, just click the export button and choose SBV for the YouTube subtitle. This is a timed subtitle file. On YouTube, we'll head over to the subtitle section of the video to upload the file we just generated, and it's asking you for a timed subtitles file, which is what we have. Let's click upload, and you can see that the subtitles have been brought in and put in the right spot. We'll just quickly play a section here to make sure that they are coming in as expected, and it looks like it's doing a great job there. Then you'll just need to press the publish button, and we're all done and ready to send this off to our Spanish speaking friends to see what they think of the translation. So I'm pleased to say that my girlfriend said that from both her and her family, everyone gave positive feedback and could understand the whole video. They said that about 10% of words weren't coherent, but it didn't matter because it didn't affect their comprehension as they were able to easily guess what the missing words were as they had the overall context of each sentence. I would suggest that this is a problem because there still existed some mistakes in the English transcription that I had edited, as well as there still being a few slang words. But overall, for a machine translation to have done this, I think it's done a great job to get to about 90%. My final recommendation on this would be, it's a very cost-effective service that will allow you to reach a whole new audience in a completely different language. That means more impressions, more views, likes, and subscribers. I would also suggest that the YouTube algorithm will want to serve this video up to more people as a result of going to the effort to do these subtitle translations. I think this service will be great for anyone that wants to grow their YouTube channel faster or anyone that speaks two languages 
but only records the video in one language. And it may also be a great solution for corporates wanting to send out training material in bulk target languages. Now I can only speak from the point of view of a Spanish translation, but I imagine it does just as well for the other languages. My recommendations back to Glot are that they should consider allowing people to upload pre-transcribed files to their servers to then get translated. And also that they should fix that glitch with some words appearing with a space in between them, causing the translation to not work properly. My plan is to select a few videos over the next little while to get them translated into Spanish and then see how well my YouTube analytics deliver this to Spanish speaking countries. I'll let you know how this goes. Watch this video next. You've seen bits of it from inside this video already. And if you want to get yourself to the 1000 subscriber mark, I guarantee these 10 tips will help you get there. Click that one and I'll see you over there. Gracias por ver mi video.